hello friends so today uh, let's understand about the rpa so we will discuss today about the how to install and configure the automation anywhere so before that uh, let's understand what is rpa so rpa is the robotic process automation technology that is software that can be trained to mimic routine labor intensive tasks performed by humans by this definition I think it's not been very clear that because for the new one who do not know anything about the RPA that's a little been confusing actually so what is this robotic process so let's take an example and then we will better understand that how it will be done so you can take an example like invoice is a company called invoice and uh, that is having uh, like uh, 50 or 100 invoicing they are receiving and uh, they have five people and what they are doing they are doing the same task repeated to talks as well so what they do it they just take it from the PDF or through the emails take the data of the uh, supplier or you know the customers and those data they are filling into the CRM or some other SAP software they are just uh, creating the invoice so this is the task they perform regularly so this is called a repetitive task actually so what the rp do they write a program that will be very easy we will check it in the later videos that how we will do it without any writing our own script actually so it's provide just a drag and drop type of things and it will write a program so what the rpa do rpa software automate repetitive repetitive if you can see like this rpa software automates repetitive rule based rule based mean that it should be uh, in a regular form actually on some rules based it's not like uh, every time it's changing so it should be a constant a rule based work task that rely on a digital data so we are doing on the digital data it's not like a robot which is picking a table from here and keeping it somewhere somewhere else or doing just making tea or something like that so it's not like that it's basically on the digital data so this task include like task includes like queries if you are doing some calculations or creating or updating some records whether it's on the form on the web or on your on-premise software of filling out uh, forms producing reports like custom reports and other things you are cutting and pasting something mean like from one server file you are taking and putting it somewhere else and that's a regular work or you are just emailing to the customers or the clients cutting and pasting performing some other high volume transaction tasks that require moving data within and between the applications so this is the uh, RPA. It's actually a program what we write it actually. We, we just automate the whole process actually. So it can be a multi-level or it can be you know interconnected uh, processes. It can be a small process or it can be a very huge process. It's depend upon the requirements actually or what, or what the process you want to automate. So what the program we write it? A software script that automate other softwares so we call them as a bot here to better understand this uh, RPA basically the automation anywhere let's go through the architecture how it's do it actually so if you can see in this uh, diagram we have the on the left side we have this bot creator so this is uh, a client of automation anywhere where we developed our bot bot rv software is actually which are uh, which do the automations so here we create the bot it's a uh, you can have it on the multiple systems there you and they do parallelly they can develop the things so bot creator is the client software actually which being connected with the control room so in automation anywhere control room is a brain actually where whatever the you are upload whatever the bots you are creating you will upload on the control room and control room do the other things like user management 
it uh, maintains the license, it maintains the source control, it provides you the dashboard of the analytics and other things, reporting they will do it. So you can like uh, if you required a versioning of your bot, so you can connect to your SCN, you can integrate with it. So for the user management and other details, control room can be integrated. Uh, it been uh, used the DB actually database. So you can use either SQL Server or it support the Oracle also. So you can use any one of it. And uh, if you do not have this, it has some inbuilt. Uh, it's use the uh, community version also. So you can choose that one. What is bot runner? Okay, fine. The thing is, you are creating a bot and you are uploading to the control room. But this bot, this program, where it will run, where it will automate, that is a bot runner actually. So what is happening is you have a server where you have to do all this processing. So control room, you can schedule your bot so that it can run on the systems where bot runner is running. So here it will run this bot and do the processing. So this is like a production or the final stage where it, it runs. But when you are creating it, the bot, it will, you can test it and run it on your local system also. It's not like if you have, you have to do it directly on the servers or the system, so machines so where you require the process. You can run on the developer machine also. So this is uh, all about the bot. There are three components mainly. That is a bot creator, control room, and bot runner. And it can be integrated to SPIN or the SQL Server or database. You can choose database up upon your requirement, upon your choice, or your availability. So let's, <clears throat> the first thing what we needed is that uh, we would do some installation of this one right so this uh, i have already downloaded it from our i have downloaded uh, the on-prem that's enterprise level here so we have the control room we have the client and remote agent so this uh, you can download from the automation anywhere site they provide you one month trial version where you can download both control room and the client there but uh, that will be for one month only, one month trial version. Or if you require, you can download only the client and that will be a community version. In that case, you will not get the control room. That will remain on the automation anywhere cloud and uh, your client will be connected to automation anywhere cloud actually and they have that control so what they will do it if you are just interested into the community version you have to register yourself into automation anywhere site they will send you a link through the email and uh, give you the download link where you just click and download the community version there and they will create a user for you they will give you the username and your password credentials so that you can get connected to their cloud and do your development there so what basically they will do it they will just give you the bot creator a developer client machine and the control room will remain on their automation anywhere cloud but uh, if you have purchased it in that case you can get this setup i'm using 3.2.1 so in this case you will get the control room also and you can install it on your on-prem on any server so keep you can have on the same machine also but it's better that the server or the control room you should have in another machine or on a server because it's required huge memory actually so for testing i'm just uh, installing on my local machine it's required first the first step what it required right, that you should have the SQL server so that when you are doing the installation it will ask you what the database you require so what it do I have already have this installation so what it do it will if you can see on my screen that uh, it is do the uh, create this type of databases for the BI business analyst analytics 
and Bot Insight and CRDB. These are the database it's used for all your it's uh, storage and other things for the authentication and uh, so you require a uh, SQL Server or the Oracle to install this DB here. So let's start the installation and see what are the things we require it. So I already have uh, installed this uh, MS SQL. If you have not it, you uh, not install that you can install the SQL Server. This is the control room. First, uh, let's uh, install the control room. It's required a huge memory, so you just uh, remember that you should have at least 16 GB memory there. It's taking little time. My system is a little slow. Sorry, guys. Okay, fine. So <clears throat> it's preparing to start. So what it's saying that the system does not meet the minimum OS or hardware requirement because my memory is not much. So that what it's giving this a warning type actually. So it's asking, do you want to continue? Okay, fine. We let's continue whatever the memory we have. Next, let's accept their agreement. So we will go with the express and the custom one. The difference between the express and the custom one is that when you are going for the express, lots of things by default actually it configures. But if you will go by the custom, you can choose many other things like uh, the database locations or SVN and many other things you can do it. So let's go with the express one. So he's asking about first thing is the database. That's why, I, <clears throat> friends, I told you that you should have the database ready actually. So <clears throat> my database already been there. He's asking about the authentication. Let's choose. I want a. Uh, fine. I really forget the password. Let me check if it's right or not. I doubt it. Okay, fine. So the password was correct. Thanks. So let's do the installation. So it will take some time to get a start. So meanwhile, let's check. So you can see that uh, these are the database they will create it. When you will have this, I already have the database, so I don't think it will create it again. So let's expand and see what is there. So you can see it has all, all the tables of users, PI and other things, you know, the metadata informations. So it keep all metadata information on these tables. But it's better not to touch the tables because this is being handled by all the control room. So be careful not to touch these tables. So this is all databases and tables is used for their work, for the processing. Let's 
installation is going on it will take i think 10 to 15 minutes let's pause it and uh, once it is finished we will continue So it's creating the database which has already already been there so let's check whether i don't think it will create any human it will just find that it's already been there then it will not create a new one So the whole installation will take around 30 to 35 minutes. So it's copying the new files, friends. So after installation, I had some more videos to come. I will just going through the whole tutorial of the RPA and the training. You can watch my other videos which are going to come now. You can subscribe for it and uh, we will go through the whole training I mean the administration the control room how to use it what are the components it has and uh, the client set how we can develop the parts all its components how to use those components you will get lots of videos friends so you can subscribe for my videos and uh, there are lots more and you can even ask that if you have any problem here you know, when you are creating the bot you can contact me anytime you can send me the message or uh, comments and i will be available to you i have already have finished my master certification from automation anywhere in the rpa and going through many other practical projects through my job also so because you know learning is different from the practical what you do or the real time uh, developments what you do it in the projects so wherever you require me you can contact me anytime still is taking time let's wait for it so in the starting if you are new and uh, <clears throat> you do not have the license then my suggestion will be you just have the community version and uh, you can do some practicing of you know creating the bot and uh, running the bot so once you are into the job or you have the license on and at the time because this is the one-time activity so if it is uh, you required you can do the installation So it has done the <coughs> installation. Now it's starting its services. We will see also that uh, where are these services and how many services are there. So you sometimes uh, the services get down. So you just go into the services and you can restart those. 
otherwise uh, it will throw an error that this is not running the services are not running so now it's creating the control room database tables that's already been there so it will skip this now it's creating the bot inside database bot inside is used actually to uh, for the analytic purposes we are to monitor that how your bots are running how your machines are running and other things so it is basically used for the reporting and analytics now it is starting the automation anywhere control room so it will provide a very good uh, web ui through which you can do all this administration okay fine so friends uh, our installation has been finished let's launch the automation anywhere enterprise finish so bad gateway it's giving me error first let's check whether our all services are up and running they are going to services okay fine so you can see that there are lots of services he has created bot inside edc bot inside elastic search all are running casualer service discovery visualization catching messages so all our services are up and running there okay fine so what we'll do So it is self-signed certificate that's why it's giving me this error what i did it i just put it https instead of http proceed with the desktop okay let's try So what was happening is that I just tried it with a, it was taking my desktop uh, name actually. So instead of name, I just provided HTTP and localhost. So it's taking the localhost. Let's provide first password, admin admin. login so guys uh, if the first time when you are installing it so in that case you will have to create a admin user that will be a super admin so you can provide a username admin and password as an admin but uh, as uh, I already have the database so my password is already been saved credential already been there so it will not take admin admin I have to recall that what was my password <clears throat> so my admin user is uh, Rehan this is my password let me check whether it's check this one or not oh, okay fine so it has taken this because uh, the my credential was already saved into the database because my database is already have there so this is the control room guys you can see that we have the dashboards here we will go through all of these components one by one and understand and learn how it will be used and what are the benefits of all these components we have the dashboard where you can have the home bars devices it show the analytics and reporting of this one audit workload insights we will let i will let you learn that how what is the workload and and how it's been used we have activities 
bots in progress or schedule or historical or about the bots what you have done it it will provide you devices where the bot runners runs or the creator devices right now only no one is no any creator bot creator or nothing has been there workloads what is workloads and how it been used our log and administration where you can do the setting all about your you know database svn kernel integration and other things you do all the setting here you can create the users for the bot runners and others giving the permissions that is our roles actually where you can define the access whether it's a admin basic and other things so we will learn all of these so here we will provide the license so right now let me check so i have the license which is providing me 10 licenses one is used it's showing bot creator we have the bot runner license already there iq bots so we have the license available right now so here you can update the license or install the license if you have the license select here and you can provide the license here okay fine we will do one by one all these things now our control room has been installed now what we required is the creator we required the developer client there so let's go back and install the client now we were here let's take it client so we have already done the installation of control room now we will go to the client and we will install the client here let's install it double click it so that through this client that will be connected to the our control room so right now this client and control room it's uh, support only windows windows uh, above 7 it does not support linux or unix or mac right now so now it's installing the client let's wait for two minutes so this client is right now the enterprise client but you can download as i told you before the uh, community version and you can install the client on your desktop or your local machine it do not take much memory also and this space so if you have only 8 uh, gb memory that's enough for it all okay next accept the license agreement next program okay, fine so we are creating the desktop icon it support internet explorer it support the chrome and microsoft edge so it provide uh, basically the by default it's go with the internet explorer but if you require to use the browser for chrome or others so you can install the plugins for that okay fine we are good with it so client uh, will not take much time i think it will take around uh, three to four minutes only not much So the community version installation or the enterprise it is same there is no difference between them one thing more uh, when you use as i told you before that this client will integrate and connect 
communicate with the control room so always remember that the client should have the same version as the control room if it is a different version in that case it will giving you an error for that so always remember that the client and the control room should have the same version so our installation has been done so let's wait to run it so that we can connect it to this control room so I have this uh, trial version so it will expire after 30 days I have to buy a new license so license is based on the number of uh, creator users you required or the runners you required so it is based on the numbers of license on the machines actually the users you used so friends you can see that here three more services has been added like uh, auto login services client service and the scheduler service so this all three service is used by the client actually so just check it in your services that all three should be available and it's up and running there if any service is down then the client will not connect to the control room and it will throw an error so whenever you will face uh, when um, connecting to the control room and you face some error just go to the services and check it that all three are running there okay fine so our client has been installed successfully let's launch it and connect it with the control room so it's uh, unable to connect to the server this make sure the server is up and running so this is the same actually it's taking our you know the previous address and it's showing that it's because it's not able to connect to the control room which was on this address okay fine no problem we'll change it now what our address is right now is the local host so we will put it the local host here and then we will use a credential use a credential so if you are putting to this credential it means it is connected to this one now what we required is we require to connect to our credential here so before connecting the client actually you require the credential if you are using the community version the automation anywhere will send you the link uh, to install the client and uh, it will they will also provide you the credential username and password so you have to use that username and password but if uh, you are using enterprise or you have taken the trial versions and your control room is running on your on-prem premise in that case what you have to do you have to first go into this admin and create a new user like I already have the users here right so for this you have to create a bot creator user so once you will have the bot creator users okay let's create it do one thing we will create a new user here <clears throat> in the admin you will go into admin provide a user like uh, I will say test user they are all optional you do not require to add anything password you can provide test one two three okay minimum eight words should be there so what will provide it let provide password and same as password fine you can put the email here test at the rate remindtech.com same you can confirm it here so here we will define and we will add the role we will add it role as a basic here that we basic is the basic creator actually where they can create the bots 
and the bot developer this is a custom one actually i could before we will talk about the custom role later on so add this one and now go down now we have to define the license actually so creator we have so it's enable auto login so what will it do it every time it will not ask for the login so we will just say enable auto login here so we have defined it create the user okay fine so we have created the user here now go to our client we have provided test user and we'll say what the password we have defined it there and say login here So good so we are they have authenticated through our databases the control room and they allow us to use this skip this and we will go into the client console fine so guys congratulate you are successfully has install the control room as well as the client you can see that this is a client here you can have the new you can record it smart recorder screen recorder and you can explore this like workbench you can go here and uh, you can start developing your bot so they are all the components we will in the later videos we will discuss this all one by one and how to use these components clipboard comments database how to connect with the database for our program and delays email how to get the emails how to use conditions if else conditions there are lots of things are there in if else conditions or how we use the loops and how we will log the errors and the other things ordered logs to the log file how we can read write the files lots of other things they are all you can see there lots of components so we will go one by one to learn it so keep in touch keep the videos subscribe for me so that we will go one by one and learn the whole rpa automation here so thank you guys this is the end of this session we have already finished developing this but keep in mind whenever you have installed it just keep that your credentials and the links and always check the services that they all the client services or if you are using the control room that control room services are up and running so please subscribe for my channel for more videos on the automation anywhere thank you very much guys thank you